Dixon was a true blue American. For he was a little boy who understood America. For he felt that he must think about everything. Because that's all there is to think about. Knowing immediately the intimacy of truth and comedy, knowing intuitively how a sense of humor was a necessity for one and for all who live in America. Thus, natively and naturally, when on an April Sunday in an ice cream parlor, Jeremiah was requested to choose between a chocolate sundae and a banana split, he answered unhesitatingly, having no need to think of it, being a true blue American, determined to continue as he began. Rejecting the either or of Kierkegaard and many another European, refusing to accept alternatives, refusing to believe the choice of the truth, rejecting selection, denying dilemma, knowing in his breast the infinite and the goal of the endless frontier, the deathless quest. Both. I will have them both, declared this true blue American in Cambridge, Massachusetts on an April Sunday, instructed by the great department stores, by the five and ten, taught by Christmas, by the servants, by the vulgarity and grandeur of Niagara Falls and the Grand Canyon, tutored by the grandeur, vulgarity, and infinite appetite shining in the darkness of the light on Saturdays at the double bells of the moon pictures. The consummation of the advertisements of the imagination of the life, which is, as it was, the infinite belief and in infinite hope of Columbus, Barnum, Edison, and Jeremiah Dixon.